Hello, crafty friends. It's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. I am coming on today to share the new release for ScrapDivaDesigns.com. This is the July 2023 release, and I think you guys are going to be super, super excited. Um, I know that some of the design team members have been sharing sneak peeks this past week, so I'm super excited to come on and share with you the new release. All right, so we're gonna start with this die set right here, and this is the Jelly Tote Bag. Absolutely adorable and an awesome size. This die measures approximately six and one eighth inches um, long, and it is about five and a half inches wide. And this is the back piece. Back pieces, uh, you get uh, obviously the base of the tote, and then you have the side, and then you have the base uh, for the bag. So let me show you what that looks like. I did assemble a couple of them, and absolutely adorable, right? Love, love, love. Um, I do want to point out that this one was made with the 110-pound um, cardstock, and this one I made with 65 pound weight cardstock, but what I ended up doing was I layered it twice with um, the, the 65 pound weight cardstock on both sides just to give it some more stability. And I think that worked out really nicely. Um, the die set does come with this little piece right here, which you can use to embellish like on the front of your bag if you wish. Um, I didn't add that on my bag because I wasn't really sure how I wanted to decorate these, um, but this is perfect for your swaps. Um, obviously, if you're doing a pool party, this would be super, super fun to give out as a gift, like a gift bag or a party favor bag, um, and it's just a really great size. All right, so that is the Jelly Tote Bag, and I'm going to go ahead and move along to the next die set. And the next one that we have is the Flip Flop Mini Album. This one is just adorable. I love it so, so much. And this is the back, so you get all the pieces to assemble the Flip Flop. It comes with um, some different flowers. Um, and then you get even get a smaller size Flip Flop as well with this set. And the uh, Flip Flop measures uh, six and a half inches long and it's approximately five and I'm gonna say three eighths uh, wide. Great size. So like I said, this is a mini album, so you can turn it into a mini if you wish. And so I started this one right here, and I just think it's so, so cute. And I'll get in a little bit closer so that you can see um, all the little details. I was um, using my little diamond dots right here totally inspired by Brie. She's always using her diamond dots. And I was like, I need to use my diamond dots. I have so many of them. And so I blinged out the flip flops um, on this little page right here. I did add the little mini tabs. Um, this die set is still in stock um, in the shop in case you're wondering. And I used it because that's what I'm gonna use for the, uh, the, the mini album. So I can put my rings through it at the top. And um, as you can see, I backed it and it is just so much fun. I can't wait to finish this and put some, uh, maybe some beach pictures uh, in this little mini album. And then I wanted to show you that it also creates a shaker. So I also made uh, this pair of flip flops, which is adorable. Oh my goodness, I'll get in a little bit closer so you can see. I used um, the little seed beads. Again, I went in with my little diamond dots to bling out the flip flop created the little flower, super, super pretty. Now this could be used as an embellishment, or again, you could stick it on your mini album. Um, there's so many options. You could even do a cute little card if you wanted to um, with this set. Um, and obviously you can do 3D projects, so there's lots of possibilities with this one. So yes, this is definitely a must have for your crafty stash. Love it so, so much. All right, moving along, I have this cute little jellyfish. This is new in the shop. You do get two sizes. You get one that's large and then one that's small. The small one measures approximately, I'm gonna say one and three quarters of an inch long, and the bigger one is approximately two, maybe two and a quarter inches. And you do get all the layering pieces and the little, little uh, I guess you call them legs. I'm not really sure but um, you can layer it up. It's absolutely adorable. So I wanted to show you what that little guy looks like. 
look how cute it is. And I just used some glitter cardstock and just layered it up. And I did even pop it up on some foam dots just to give it a little bit of dimension. But this is gonna be a super cute embellishment. I was thinking that I would maybe put it on the tote bag, maybe put this on the circle shaker uh, tag die set and like dangle it. Wouldn't that be so, so cute? So um, that is the jellyfish. And then moving along to the next die, we have the mini sunglass die set. And this one is just so, so cute. And I love the size. There's two different sizes. There's a small, and then there's like a mini. So this one measures approximately three inches um, long, in case you're wondering. Obviously, you can create a shaker with this if you want. So loving that. You can make super cute little embellishments. Again, you can dangle it from your little tote bag. That would be super cute as well. Just put a little um, hole and dangle it with your, your charms. Super, super cute. And then this is the smaller one. Again, you can turn it into a shaker or you can just make a flat embellishment if you want. It's totally up to you and you could dangle it or embellish however you please. Um, but I think this is an adorable little set right here. So of course we have to have the sunglasses because this is summertime. And then moving along to the next die set, which is this one right here. This is the soda bottle die set that we have that's new in the shop. This one measures approximately five and three quarters of an inch long, and it is about two and a quarter inches wide. And you do get the base, you get the layering pieces, and you get a couple of words that read um, soda and cheers. So um, I wanted to show you what that looks like. Um, I did uh, make one and I used the mini heart alphabet die set and spelled out the word soda. And I was gonna do one that said pop, <laughs> um, but uh, I think this is so, so cute. Again, just an adorable embellishment. You could uh, totally stick it on the tote bag because it's big enough. Um, and that would be so, so cute. Fill it up with like little goodies and treats. Loving that. And um, of course it's a shaker or you can uh, use it as a flat embellishment. And then moving along, we do have a new um, summer word die set in the shop and you get six words with layering pieces. So you get the word um, sunshine, and then you also get the word surfing, ice cream, cocktails, picnic, and fishing. And then we have up next, I gotta grab it. Let me move that off to the side we have this pinwheel die set. This is the zigzag pinwheel. I do have two other pinwheels in the shop that are in stock if you haven't picked those up. There's a shabby pinwheel and then there's just a normal pinwheel. But this one is a zigzag pinwheel and it also has three in it. So you get three different sizes and then you also get layering pieces. So if you want to create your own layers, and if you're not using like double-sided paper, you have that option to do it with this die set right here, which I absolutely love. So let me show you the different sizes. So this is the largest one right here. And I just used double-sided paper and I just used a brad to close it up. Super, super cute with the summer themed paper. This is the small and then this one is the medium size. So you can see the size difference. Um, with the pinwheels, but super, super cute. Again, you could pop this on right here. That would be adorable as well. Lots of little fun embellishments that you can create with this die set right here. And then this one right here, I just wanted to show you how you can just use those plain layers and layer it up on the sides if you want. And you can do all four or just two or just, you know, however you want to create it. Um, but I really am loving this set right here. And then we have another one. Let me grab that. I'm gonna share with you the Popsicle gift box. This one is so much fun. This one is uh, definitely one that you can use all year round. You can make so many different themed uh, Popsicle gift boxes. And I can't wait to see what the design team comes up with. You do get this base piece, which creates the outer layer. And then you get the uh, inside box which looks like this. So this is one that I had created and you just pull it out like so and you can stick your little goodies in there. So you can, you know, 
stick maybe a small like little embellishments. You can even stick the clear little um, glass bottles that will fit in this little box right here. It's very simple to put together. And um, I think that you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Um, I do have one little tip for you on the box. Um, this one I created and this one right here, I made it super, super thick on the stick. I actually cut it out um, four times, two with the gold cardstock and then um, two with the heavyweight cardstock. And I found that it just made a, you know, a sturdy popsicle stick that you could slide in and out of your box easily. Um, you do notice that you do get the embossing lines um, on the popsicle on the front of the box, which is a nice little detail. And you get this little drizzle that goes all the way around the box. Super, super cute. And um, I can't wait uh, to see what the team comes up with with this one as well. Just adorable. Love, love, love. And then we have one last die set to share with you today. And this one is the Beach Ball Mini Album. Now, this is a great size Beach Ball Mini Album. You, let's see, it measures approximately, I'm gonna say five and a quarter inches um, long. You do get some extra pieces in this. You get this bathing suit, which layers on top of this piece right here. You get the tiny little bow that you could stick right there in the center. And then you also get a small uh, surfboard. I still have the larger surfboard that's in my shop from the previous summer release from last year. Uh, but I think it's low in stock if in case you want to grab it. And then you do get this tiny little umbrella. And then on the back, you get the layering piece for the beach ball. And of course, you can create a shaker with this um, and all sorts of fun types of things. So let me show you this little box that I created. Look how cute this is. So it's a beach ball box and I just made it into a shaker which I absolutely love. And then I did um, use the 3D cake box die set to uh, create the gift box. And um, of course you can stick your little goodies in there and you know give it to a crafty friend or you could fill it with like little treats or whatever your heart desires. But it's just a fun little, um, little idea for you. And then I also, um, cut it out just in another uh, card stock color. And I actually layered the base with some acetate just to kind of make it really look like a shine, like those balls that you can, those beach balls that you see at the store, just to give it that like shiny look, which I thought was kind of cool. And then I used that uh, Cricut holographic paper on the front. And this one, I just made a card. So this would definitely be cute as a card, but obviously it's perfect for a mini album. And I wanna show you the little pieces that do come with it. You do get the tiny little umbrella and then the mini bathing suit. Mini bathing suit is approximately two and a quarter inches long and the mini surfboard is about two and a half inches. So um, really, really fun. Uh, cute little embellishments that you can use to decorate your beach ball mini album. All right, that is the new release for Scrap Diva Designs. Make sure you check the description box below. I'll leave the product information uh, down there. Of course, it's scrapdivadesigns.com. Follow the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs on Instagram and on YouTube so that you can see what other uh, crafty friends are creating with the products. You can be inspired, of course. And um, I'd love to see what you are creating. So if you use that hashtag, I can check it and see. Um, a lot of you are tagging me on Instagram and I just love it. I love, even some of you email me and I love seeing your creation. So thank you for sharing with me. And that is it. I'm glad you stopped by my channel today. I hope you guys are super excited about this release and uh, leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.